Good morning, everybody. My name is Robbie, and today I will be discussing my work in progress. I am currently working on my first commission work, which is a shawl from the Outlander series. It won't be exactly like this here shawl, which is from the book Outlander Knitting by Kate um, Authorly. I'm not sure I just pronounced that name. But it's basically edited by her, um, published by Potter, um, Clarkson Potter Publishers from New York. The book shows the overall design of the shawl should stretch that fur down the back and be at least down like halfway the forearm, which should be easy. The problem is, is it's a simple design and yet it's not simple. It's actually time consuming. And when I say time consuming, I mean, I am using a 60 inch circular needle, as you can see all the way down here to the center. That's 30 inches on one side and 30 inches on the other. And it's actually having to be bound up. You know, it's not able to stretch out. So I need to actually increase my circular needle now to say 80 or 90. But here, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna show you how big it currently is. This here is the wingspan of it, you know, stretched out as good as I can get it without losing stitches. And whenever you try to put it on, it's basically a little stretched down to about here, which means I got at least another half a, half a foot, six inches or so, that I need to grow this at least. But whenever you look at the, when you look at the pattern, let me sit back down. When you look at the pattern and read through it, it says that, it need, that this here center spine needs to be 36 inches. Well, like, more like 33, 34. Um, I'm going to be doing all in the same color, so I'm not going to worry about having, you know, to change to black and change to, like, green or something. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing all in this here mahogany, um, which is, like, a black-brown color from... I uh, just had it. And which is a black brown from I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby. It's Mahogany Singer. Um, now that I think about it, I should have actually made sure I had more than just three schemes. But I think I do got four schemes of it for this. But as you can see, it's only 252 yards per scheme, and I'm on my second scheme, almost none of my second scheme, actually. And I still got one more scheme, definitely, before I can start finishing this off. The way that it's seriously signed, it's got little outlet holes at the end that goes near and around, you know, like your neck and stuff. Um, it also, whenever I'm done with it, won't be just a regular old, you know, bind off. At this end, I'm and because of how this here came, uh, was made, it was made using garter tab cast on, which garter tab cast on is just like a little square of garter stitch right here in the center that you then pick up stitches, like you know, pick up the stitches that you started with, pick up the stitches across the side, and the stitches that you ended with as you did your six rows. And then you start to make your thing, and it starts to open up and make a curve, which is what you can see with this. Whenever you look at it, you know, stitches go down this direction, stitches go down this direction, and the center across that your spine, they're like perfectly straight across horizontal. Eventually, I am going to take that same method and turn my stitches, you know, turn my work 90 degrees, and do short rows where I can do scallops so that it's like got a little hump circles across the edge. Um, that also means I need to count all my stitches whenever I get to that point, which should probably be over 500. 
Just saying, this is going to be pretty big. And it's going to take a longer, a lot longer than I had originally anticipated. I was expecting to be done with it in less than a week. But, um, yes. Yeah, it's my first commission work and I kind of want to go all out and focus as much as I can on it to make it as good for the customer as possible. This also means, you know, going in there and let me see if I can find one of them. The yarn I'm using, I don't really like it. Uh, when, I, when I went to find them, I was finding nothing but them. All right, here. Like, the yarn I've got is kind of cheap yarn. And when I say cheap yarn, it was chosen by the person that uh, that did it, that wanted me to do the, com uh, the commission work for them. They chose this yarn and it's basically nice looking yarn, but like this here fuzzball here, I need to go go back in and use a crochet hook and hide it so that whenever it's all said and done, it'll look no different than the rest of these here. Um, there's some other joins that the people that made the yarn did that they didn't properly hide and eventually Whenever it's all said and done, it should look nice and smooth, just like this. For right now, this here will conclude this here video. And I will get back to making how-to videos and probably even explaining how I do how I did the border for this um, come next week. But for right now, please like and subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I will be posting again soon. Thank you.